Oh, you know what we should do? What? This is a great idea. What's up guys? I am kicking off the vlog today just a little bit later. I have had a long work day. I'm actually just barely leaving the office right now. As you can see, Brittany's actually getting her nails done right now with her sister Michelle. I'll show you guys that in a little bit. But Sean and I, you guys, have some very exciting things going on with Adventure Hunt that we are super stoked about. But until then, we gotta keep it under wraps. We gotta keep it a secret. I, I'm just reached. Lloyd. <laughs> As you guys can probably tell, I'm still a little bit sick. I still have a cough, a sore throat. My nose is constantly always congested. But I'm actually gonna try going to the gym and see how that works. I did research it beforehand, and it said that if you feel sick above the neck, then you're fine, but if it's below the neck, then you shouldn't go. Where I'm at is above the neck, so I think I'm gonna give it a shot, see how it goes. Then possibly go get a haircut, and then go get some dinner for Brittany and I, and head back to the house. Meanwhile, I just got off work with my cute sister Michelle. We actually work together. We are two years apart, so basically twins. You guys, growing up, we shared a room. We did everything together. We'd get in a fight one minute, and then the next minute, we were like best friends again. <laughs> Night, we're doing a little girls' night. Getting our nails done. We're getting our nails done. I still have Christmas nails and they are getting chipped and need to get redone. Shell and I are trying to spend as much time as we can together because do you want to tell them where you're going? I'm moving to New York next She's week. She's moving to the Big Apple. Her husband got a job out there, so they are leaving Utah. So we're just trying to soak in as much time as we can, and we're gonna go get our nails done, get some pedicures and manicures, and then we may go get a sweet treat or something like that. Who knows, we'll just see. Let's go get our nails done. One of the hardest parts is trying to pick out the colors because there's so many to choose from. Love bright colors, but I know in the winter you're not supposed to have super bright colors, but I still like doing them. What color do you think you're gonna do, Shell? I don't know, I might uh, surprise you. <laughs> Maybe I'll do gold. Ooh, the gold. Decisions, decisions. Later. I am currently on my way to go to the gym right now. However, I don't feel too hot. So hopefully this isn't a recipe for disaster. Hopefully I last a little bit longer than I'm expecting, but we'll see. Right, guys, I just finished running. I took it easy. I started out with a light walk and then turned into a jog and then I ran for a little bit, but I took it easy for the most part. If anything, it actually felt like I felt a little bit better. Still gonna take it easy right now. I'm just doing a few weight workouts. One hour later. All right, guys, we just got our nails done and we had to stop next door. It is this yummy place where everything homemade and then they make your cinnamon roll to order. So you can choose like tons of different types of frosting, toppings. It's a really cool idea and they are bomb. So good. Yeah, yes. like I got vanilla frosting with cookie dough on top. And I got uh, almond frosting with raspberries and strawberries on top. And we got to show you our nails. So Shell got this pretty pink and I got this purple. They complement each other. They like sisters. Guys, and we go to this place called Queen Nails. If you are near Salt Lake, you have to go. It's awesome. A few moments later. <laughs> 
All right, guys, I just went into Sports Clips. That's usually the place I like to go to, and they say it's going to be a 30-minute wait. Usually, the person that I get my hair cut done with, she is not here, but I figured I don't really have much time anyway, so I might as well just get it done right here, right now. But what are your guys' thoughts? Do you guys usually stick to like one particular stylist or barber, or do you not care and you just kind of go in and get it done whenever you want? For me, I usually just stick to one stylist because I feel like they know how I like to get my hair done, but with them not being here and my schedule being kind of tight, I am actually a little bit more willing right now to see what happens when I get in there. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Come on back. All right. Two on the sides and back, all the way yeah. to the part on the side. Okay. Okay. Great. Done. Awesome. Done. <laughs> Do it. All right, you guys, I'm gonna get myself the pro haircut, which includes them washing my hair and getting a scalp massage. Oh my gosh, that felt amazing. <laughs> You guys ever come to Sports Clips, definitely get a wash. You use this like tea tree shampoo, and it just feels amazing. All right, guys, I just got my hair done. How's it look? If you guys like it, definitely give this video a thumbs up because I am very, very pleased with how it looks. Okay, thanks again, appreciate it. Now it's time to go get some dinner for Britt and then go meet up with her. you guys look at my handsome husband babe you look so good it looks amazing huh yeah they did a really good job yeah. it looks so good yeah. you guys give this video a thumbs up if you loved Jared's hairdo and if you like my nails I just saw my nails when I said give it a <laughs> thumbs up I had a ton of fun with my sister tonight check out my pedicure so I got this pinkish purple on my toes too. And it was just really fun hanging out with my sis. It's almost less than a week now until she's gone. That's way I can't sad. even think about it. Like every time we even start talking about it, we both start tearing up a little bit. And we're like, hey, we gotta stop talking about this because it's gonna be so weird when she's gone. It's gonna be way weird. But on a side note, when you went like this with your hair, I saw your nails and they looked really good. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Yeah. yeah, we're not gonna talk about that right now. I'll do another vlog with Michelle as we get closer. Yeah, we need to do a parting vlog with her. I know, we will for sure. If you guys haven't checked out our videos with Michelle and Nate, we were both with them when they got engaged and at their wedding, and we did vlogs on that, and they're really fun. Yeah, I'll put them in below in the description because they're way cool. In fact, we were there when they Nate proposed to Michelle. Yeah, when they got engaged in Hawaii. It was I just said awesome. that, but he didn't hear me. <laughs> Shoot. You guys, husbands, am I right? So I've had a couple of you ask what this jug is sitting on the floor. We did some research. As you know, Finn is white and white little dogs can get tear stains around their eyes. We were told that if you give them distilled water, it prevents that and really helps with it. And it totally has worked. It works magic, guys. Like seriously. Oh my gosh, he loves you so much. <laughs> He's so cute. So happy we're home, baby. Oh my goodness. Mainly daddy though, huh? <laughs> my mouth was open on that He's one. He's not doing that to me. Why are you picking daddy over me tonight, huh? Oh, yes. That's yes. okay. You're so sweet. So today has been a super busy day. I haven't even seen Jared. It's like almost nine o'clock at night. It sounds like you had a little bit of a boy's day. I had a girl's day, which mm -hmm. was super fun. Actually, this is kind of cool. When I got my hair cut, the girl asked, what does your wife do for work? And I said, hey, do you by chance have heard of Borboletta? Now that Brittany works for, with Borboletta, and I actually notice eyelashes now, mm -hmm. which may sound funny, but <laughs> I notice that girls have nice eyelashes. And so she had nice eyelashes, and I was like, do you by chance have heard of Borboletta? She's like, oh yeah, the eyelash company. That's awesome. That's yeah. Nice. She knew about yeah. Very kind of cool. cool. A lot of you guys have actually asked about that and asked where I get my eyelashes and things like that. So they're actually eyelash extensions. So you can't just go buy them in the store. They actually have to be attached. I've been thinking for a while that it would be really cool to show you that process and kind of educate you a little bit more about eyelash extensions because not a lot of people know a ton about them. And I feel like if 
there's any beauty tip out there, it's my eyelashes. Like that's one thing I don't know if I can go without. When you have them on, you just look ready automatically. I literally just wake mm -hmm. up and you can go. Like it's so nice. I don't have to worry about putting on mascara or anything like that. Anyways, maybe comment down below if you'd be interested in seeing how eyelash extensions work. I'd be happy to kind of take you over to our office and kind of show you. At the office, we don't do eyelash extensions, but we do have a lot of educators. I'm trying not to laugh. <laughs> Did you see the camera going like this? Finn was licking my hand holding the camera so it was bouncing around. <laughs> So you little puppy, why are you so cute? Finn will always lick Brittany's hands, like nonstop. <laughs> he does, I don't know what it is. I think He's it might be the, right now. the lotions or whatever I put on them, but he is just licking. Oh, yep, look at this, look at this, yep. <laughs> He's done it ever since he was a little puppy. When he was a little puppy, he would wrap his limbs around me. He would literally wrap his little arms around my arm. Do you remember that? Yeah. And he would just try yeah. to climb and reach my hand because he couldn't reach it because he was a puppy. <laughs> huh? Yep, this is what we're talking about. <laughs> Look at that one little piece of fur in his eye. <laughs> Anyways, got, oh my gosh. Anyways, you guys, let me know if you think that would be something cool. I think that'd be really fun to show you. Definitely comment down below because I think you guys would enjoy that. Yeah, it's kind of an interesting process. I never really knew a lot about it until we got into it. I will tell you this really quick. Eyelash extensions, if they are not done by the right person with the right training, they can ruin your natural lashes. So you have to be really careful, but as long as they're done the right way, the correct way, your lashes can be super healthy and look amazing. With Borboletta, that's what sets us apart from a lot of other lash companies out there is we're all about the education. We're actually the largest educator in the world, which is really cool with lash extensions. Yeah, that's awesome. I'd love to share the story, kind of how the company came about and everything. My sister-in-law, Kim, founded the company and it's a pretty cool story how it all came oh, about. Oh, it's a so. way cool story. Long story short, you guys, she started it out of the trunk of her car and then built it into the empire of what it is now. So anyways, we'll share that story another time. Yeah, because it's a really cool story. Before we go, you guys, we had to bring up some thing that has really touched our hearts. As many of you guys know, we recently went to Australia and had an incredible trip out there. And while we were out there, as you guys know, those fires that are going on right now started and they have just gotten worse and worse and worse, which is so heartbreaking. Yeah, it's so sad because that place is beautiful. The people out there are absolutely amazing, so kind. The animals the out animals. there. As you guys know, we got to have the really rare opportunity to go hold koalas, saw kangaroos, and just beautiful, beautiful creatures. And to think that so much of their land and so many of those precious animals and people's homes is being destroyed is just absolutely heartbreaking. Yeah, um, it's really hard for us to see it and look to see it on the news and see it on social media. It's just because we were just there and, you know, we just fell in love with the country and the people and the culture and obviously the animals and so it's really tough to see this destruction happen. We do have a lot of you guys that live in Australia and we just wanted to say our hearts go out to you, your inner thoughts and our prayers as well as the amazing firefighters. I cannot even imagine how hard those firefighters are working with how many fires there are right now. Now they are spread all across Australia. They used to just be in certain parts but a lot of the country is on fire. We've had quite a few of you guys reach out to us giving us updates so thank you so much. We've been watching the news, but Jared and I really wanted to use our channel to help talk about the situation and try and help as well. So we've looked into it a little bit and we found out that you can donate to the Australian Red Cross, which is a great organization. There's many, many other wonderful ones, but we've decided we are going to donate to that organization and we are going to put a link to where you can donate if you would like in our description below. For all of you awesome subscribers out in Australia, we love you. We're praying for you. But to and on a more positive note, we want to get into our subscriber highlights, which is so fun. We love doing these, you guys. Oh yeah. So going to our last video, which was our Q and A. If you guys have not seen that, make sure you go check it out. We had a lot of fun answering a lot of your questions. We had a lot of fun teasing each other. This subscriber that I'm gonna highlight is Lorna Van Steen. Lorna said, hey guys, I have to say, I'm so glad you guys are all vlogging. A few years ago, I stumbled on This Is Howie Bingham and I thought, who is this loud guy that acts like a kid? <laughs> That's so funny. <laughs> then I fell in love with their family. Next, I wondered about all the extended siblings and parents. Now I know all the Binghams and it is so fun to watch all of you. Keep it up and I can't wait to see you as parents. Oh. So sweet. Thank you, Lorna. Yeah, thank you very much. So awesome. <laughs> Super sweet of you. And my subscriber highlight today, you guys, is Chantel Keats. 
She said, you guys are truly amazing. I can't wait to see what 2020 has in store for you both. You're going to make great parents and I cannot wait for the epic pregnancy <laughs> announcement. <laughs> That's awesome. I know we have thought about that a little bit. We're like, oh my gosh, how are we gonna announce that? Oh, you know what we should do? What? This is a great idea. What? Gender reveal. This is just on the spot, you guys. I have no idea what he's gonna say. Jump out of an airplane. Oh my god. Tandem. <laughs> whatever color the parachutes are when they pull them out <laughs> is the reveal. Oh my gosh. We should have you jump yes, out of the plane yes. and do that. That's actually pretty cool. That's way cool. Comment down below any of the awesome pregnancy announcements you've seen that we could get some ideas from as well. Yeah. I think that'd be a lot of fun. Okay, we still have one more <laughs> subscriber highlight to do on Instagram. So if you guys are new to the channel, what we do is that we basically highlight a subscriber as well as an Instagram follower. So if you aren't following us over on Instagram, definitely go follow us. It's at Jared and Britt. So the one we chose was from Christy and her username is CareDoll11 it looks like mm -hmm. and she said you guys are the sweetest and cutest couple with hearts so oh. thank you so much Christy that's so sweet thank of you. you Christy that is really sweet of you thank you make sure that you are subscribed to our channel click that notification bell ding ding and go follow us over on Instagram we have a lot of fun over there as well all right guys that's gonna do it for us tonight we hope that you enjoyed this video and we love you so much and again to everyone out in Australia we are praying for you and we love you so much yes you guys we love you and we will see you next time see you guys bye, bye. finley wants to say goodbye finney you want to say goodbye or do you want to come lick my hands more <laughs> huh yeah, oh yeah it's the hands, the hands. <laughs> <laughs> no i gotta show him their little his little tail you guys look at his tail look at his little nuffer tail you're the cutest puppy <laughs>